Hi everyone, Allie here from Camp Vermont in Northern California, and today we're gonna to be doing some pomegranate paper mache. But before we get started with our project, let's talk a little bit about why the pomegranate is one of our many symbols for Rosh Hashanah. So inside of the pomegranate, there are 613 seeds. And at the start of a new year, we aspire for a year full of mitzvot, just as the pomegranate is full of seeds. The abundance of seeds inside of a pomegranate also represents the idea of richness and success and all of life's good things. And we hope for all of that at the start of our new year. There's also a Rosh Hashanah tradition that at the start of the new year, you eat a new fruit. And many people will choose the pomegranate as their new fruit to celebrate the start of the new year. Now that we know a little bit about the pomegranate, let's go ahead and get started with our project. So there's a few things that you're gonna need for your project today. We're gonna need some scissors, some newspaper, some tissue paper. I chose red, but you can use whatever color you have at home. You're gonna need some Mod Podge and a paintbrush. And if you don't have Mod Podge, go ahead and use some Elmer's glue, put a little bit of water, same thing. You're gonna need some tin foil and you're gonna need some masking tape. And also a piece of string if you have it. So let's go ahead and get started. So step number one, you're gonna take your newspaper and you're going to crumble it up into a ball. And that's gonna make the base of your pomegranate. I would say about two pieces of newspaper, depending on how big you want your pomegranate, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, but two pieces is a nice, good size. And once you form that newspaper into a ball, you're gonna take some of your masking tape and you're gonna just put it around that to really hold that shape in place. So there we go. We've got the base of our pomegranate. Now you're gonna take one of your two pieces of tin foil and you're gonna wrap that ball in tin foil. Just like that. And you're gonna be sure to leave a little bit extra on top to make a little neck of our pomegranate. Then you're gonna take your second piece of tin foil and you're gonna fold it into a long strip just like that. And you're going to go ahead and wrap it around the neck of your pomegranate. Just like that. And you're gonna take a little piece of your masking tape just to make sure that everything holds in place. So our next step is gonna to be to cut out the little points on the top of our pomegranate. So you're gonna go ahead and take your scissors and you're gonna cut out little triangles just like that all around the top part of your pomegranate. So at this point, you should have your body of the pomegranate and your points on top. Now it's time to go ahead and take your masking tape and you're gonna cover the entire structure in masking tape. All right, so once you have your whole pomegranate covered in masking tape, it's time to begin with our paper mache. So for this, you're gonna need your tissue paper, your paintbrush, and your Mod Podge or whatever glue you're using. And what you're gonna do is you're going to put a little bit of glue on the structure. And then you're gonna take a piece of your tissue paper and you're gonna go ahead and put it right on top of that glue and make sure you dab it down so it's stuck to the body of the pomegranate. And you're gonna continue with that all around until the entire thing is covered in your tissue paper. Okay, so once you've covered your entire pomegranate in your paper mache, we've got one final step. So now you're gonna go ahead and take that piece of string and you're gonna rest your pomegranate on those little tips. And at the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and attach that string to your pomegranate. So you're gonna take a little bit of your glue 
put it in the middle of the base. You're gonna put your string down. And then you're gonna continue with that paper mache pattern until you feel like that string is really nice and secure. I'd suggest putting a couple layers down just to make sure everything's really stuck in place. Once the glue dries, then you'll be able to feel if it's really secure down there. So just like that, I've got my pomegranate, I've got my string, then you're gonna set it aside to dry. And when you're done, you'll have a beautiful pomegranate to put on your Rosh Hashanah table. And then using the string, just a few weeks later, you can go ahead and hang it up in your sukkah. So wishing everyone a Shana Tova Umetuka, a happy and healthy and sweet new year.